Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lizzie Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and I've got another book haul for you. This one is going to be Cozy Mysteries. Now I will admit to you that I fully am aware that I'm addicted to book shopping. Now I'm not necessarily addicted to book buying. There were several places that I looked at books this past month that I didn't buy a thing. I am getting better about only buying books that I think I will read or books that I've read that I want to share with someone else or books that are part of a series that I've already got some of, uh, you know, something within those parameters. Um, and that's the and, and that is the case with the majority of the books that I have for this haul. There is just a short stack of books that I got that are not part of a series that I'd already started. One was recommended to me and the others I may not keep. So let me show you what I got. These two I may not keep, although I was really attracted by the name of the series and the covers. They are from the Thoroughly Southern Mystery series. Uh, this one is called What Are You Wearing to Die? And this one's called Did You Declare the Corpse? These are by Patricia Sprinkle. And I really thought they looked cute, but when I got them home and looked at them on Goodreads, they're quite a ways down the series. So I just don't know if I'll ever get to them because I don't like to start a series in the middle or near the end. And so these are in like new condition and these would be good candidates to trade into the used bookstore. So I may not hang on to these. I'm not sure yet. This is a bookmobile cat mystery, and Patty, formerly of I Smell Books, uh, now from Patty's Book Nook, she recommended this series to me quite a while back. This is Cat with a Clue, and it's by Laurie Cass. And this book I picked up because I've heard Bridget from uh, Bridget Reads talk about Jen McKinley, and she's reading the Baking Mystery Series by Jen McKinley, and this one is the Library Lovers Mystery Series. This one's called Books Can Be Deceiving, and so since this author had been recommended, this one looks like a theme I would enjoy, and I thought I would take a look at it. And this one I just couldn't resist either. I found this one at my library book sale. It's called Heaven Preserve Us. It is a home crafting mystery by Cricket McRae. This is not the first one in the series. It looks like there's at least one other one ahead of it called Lie in Wait and Lie spelled L-Y-E. Um, my mom and my sister were both home ec teachers. That was my major. I've done some home canning in my life and I just I had to get this, so um, I don't care that I didn't have anything from this series. I need to collect this series. This one I have one. I have one other one from this series, and I hadn't really made plans to get any more. But I saw this old car, and my husband is an old car buff, so I thought he might enjoy this one. This is a Sarah Kelling mystery by Charlotte McLeod called The Silver Ghost. Here's another one from a series that I read, but I'm not necessarily collecting these. I've been listening to them on audio. This one I found at the fill bag sale, and it's one of the newer ones. Uh, it's part of the Number One Ladies Detective Agency series by Alexander McCall Smith. This one is The Handsome Man's Deluxe Cafe. The reason I may not keep this one is because I'm really not trying to collect the series. I do have three of them that I haven't read, but this one is about an inch taller than the other three books that I have in that series. So it just doesn't fit with the rest of the books. And so because this is one of the newer ones, we may try this one out on eBay. So the rest of these are all from series that I've been collecting or series that I am actually reading. Uh, this one I have not read any yet. Last Puzzle and Testament. Uh, I believe this is the second book in the Puzzle Lady series by Parnell Hall. Another series I haven't read, but I have one or two of. These are Savannah Reed Mysteries by G.A. McKevitt. This one's called Fat Free and Fatal. And this one's called Corpse Suzette. I haven't read any of these books, but I love this TV series. Got a couple of Monk books by Lee Goldberg. This one is Mr. Monk and the Two Assistants. And Mr. Monk Goes to Germany. I've been collecting the Monica Ferris books in paperback, but I got this at one of the filler bag sales, and so, um, you know, I had to pick it up. This is the this is a Christmas themed one of the Needlecraft Mystery series by Monica Ferris. This one's called Cruel Yule. I've only read the first one in this series and it's been quite a while. My sister's read several of them and she didn't care for it too much because it got a little bit paranormal and that's not and she's not a fan of that. But I want to go ahead and read a little bit more of the series for myself and see if I like it any more than she did. Uh, this is from the Pizza Lover Mystery Series. This one is called Rest in Pizza by Chris Cavender. I was really excited to find uh, some of the hardbacks from the Erlene Fowler Benny Harper Mystery Series that I didn't have. I got Irish Chain. This is, I believe, book 
two or three, and I I knew that I needed books one, two, and three, and this is one of those, so uh, I think this is book two. So I still need one and three before I can get started reading this series. My sister's read all these, and she really likes them. And then this one's a little farther down the series, but I didn't have it either, Broken Dishes. The names of all these books are are names of quilt patterns, but Charlotte says that series is really not about quilting, but that theme is kind of woven in through the series. I got the next one of the Knitting Mystery series that I need to send Charlotte. I'll probably take, take this to her at Thanksgiving. This is by Maggie Septon called Pearl Up and Die. I've just been reading it from the library, but I've been collecting them to send to Charlotte when I get them, and she's almost caught up with the whole series. Here's a series I've been actively reading this year. I've read the first five. This is Aunt Dimity Down Under by Nancy Atherton. Another series I haven't read in a while, but I have gotten started on it. This is by Laura Childs called Death's Watch, and this is one of these scrapbooking mysteries. I also got a Laura Childs book in both of her other series. This one is Sweet Tea Revenge. It's one of the tea shop mysteries. And this is one of the Cackleberry Club mysteries. I believe this is the first one, Eggs in Purgatory. Another one from the tea shop mystery series by Laura Childs is Dragon Well Dead. And I found another one of the uh, Southern Sewing Circle Mysteries by Elizabeth Lane Casey that I didn't have called Let It Sew. And this is a series I really need to get to ASAP. My sister's been wanting me to read these. Uh, she says it's been three years. It doesn't seem like it's been that long. But she said, I know, she knows I will love the series. And I've got at least the first six. This one, I think is, uh, I think this one's number seven. I just need to get started on these. And then I went to the Orlando Public Library's half price sale that they have two or three times a year. And I found several of the Annie's Attic Mystery Series. I only had the first two, and there are about 30 books in this series. So I picked up the ones that I didn't have, and let me show you what they are. These are my different authors. This one is Letters in the Attic by Deanna Julie Dodson. The Photo Album by Marlene Chase. Ragdoll in the Attic by Jan Fields. The Wedding Dress by Mary O'Donnell. The Valise in the Attic by Jan Fields, and Guns and Roses by Karen Kelly. So that is almost all of the cozy mysteries I got in late August and early September. I've got another batch of cozy mysteries that are all Christian based. So I decided to put those in a separate video, and for those of you who are interested in a subgenre of a subgenre, <laughs> then I hope you'll enjoy that video as well. So that's all for this one though. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book, and God bless you.